Hey everyone and welcome to the video. This video we are going to solve a lead code question number 225 which is essentially implementing a stack data structure using two queues. Uh, this is a bit tricky but it is still relatively an easy problem. So let me explain you the solution of the problem. This is this problem. So by the way before we go uh, you know I want to explain a very simple I, I wouldn't take much time. Uh, queue is essentially a uh, first in first out order is maintained a person standing in an atm line right the first person goes first the last one goes last stack on the other hand essentially is a uh, piles of book right book one book two book three so the third book the book that you have on the top you can take it out easily right so last in first out okay so now we want to implement a stack using two queues how do we do that well so here is how we do that so will you have two queues here Q1 and Q2 and I'm gonna uh, visually representatively gonna show you how this works okay when you insert items you're gonna insert item into the Q1 so first of all you're gonna insert one right so we'll color this item right now you uh, as soon as you insert this you're gonna what you're gonna do is you're gonna ask yourself a question is Q2 empty uh, for this situation it is empty right yes it is empty and then you're gonna swap the names of the Q so now this becomes q2 this becomes q1 i have the code i'll show you okay don't worry now we want to insert two into that right we always insert into q1 right so we're gonna insert two then we can ask ourselves a question is q2 empty no it is not empty okay so then deck you the q and bring it over here and at the end once you're done that swap the q names okay now it's interesting okay so now we want to insert three so we insert three uh, right so now what do we do we ask ourselves our question okay uh, is this queue empty no it is not empty so the first element will come from the queue is 2 this goes here right uh, let's change the color then it will be this element right right so now this becomes here that now again you play uh, play the game of hide and seek right you essentially ha change the names right now when you need uh, when you need to pop from the stack you know this is the pop right this is the this is what was entered last right last in first out right you see how the algorithm works all right so now once you have a visual representation let's see the code code is easy uh, once you have the visual representation it's easy here I define two stacks uh, sorry two queues q1 and q2 uh, you can name it whatever you want right and then we insert into the first queue right we check if the second queue is empty or not right? and I'll try my best again to show you visually because I know uh, we, we learn better by seeing things right so the first time we come in we insert into the queue one right then we ask ourselves a question is the second queue empty yes it is empty so we are not gonna do anything so then we're gonna swap the queue names and then we're gonna increment the counter by one which means uh, q1 becomes q2 and q2 becomes q1 right so this happened now next time I want to insert two okay so we always insert Q, uh, we alway, always insert into Q1 or insert Q so we're gonna insert here right now while self dot shuffle queue is empty this is my shuffle queue right so I'm asking hey is this empty no it is not empty so self dot insert queue dot put so we, I'm gonna put here right self dot shuffle queue dot get so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it here right and then I'm gonna shuffle the queue back the names so this becomes my Q2 this becomes my Q1 so at any time if I want to pop this is my pop element right the max uh, the upper upper the upper right item in the stack right so you, you got the idea right how it's working right so this is essentially a push item uh, the pop item is again relatively uh, easy because now you want to pop from this one right that's my pop queue right so I'm doing that and uh, essentially empty I'm just checking the length anytime I append or push items to the queue I'm incrementing the counter here anytime I pop I decrement the counter by one okay so hopefully that makes sense and top essentially uh, I'm essentially uh, you know using uh, the instance and I'm using the queue and I'm just using the I'm indexing that with a square bracket zero the reason if I use a get operator it will be a deck queue right I don't want to deck queue I just want to see what's on the top okay so that's how I did that um, and coming back to the console uh, as you can see I submitted the solution 
and all the test cases have been passed and here you can see the code works absolutely great. I'll leave the code in the description so you can check that out but I personally feel please try it out pause the video take a pen and paper because I'll show you something you know I, I because when I also do some stuff take take a look at this right I I essentially wrote it several times I tried to understand right I have always a paper and a pen right I did it so many times just to understand the concept so I encourage you to do the same thing write down on a piece of pa uh, paper and try to understand and then try to code it okay thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in the upcoming next video